hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial in today's max for beginners i am architect sonurai from glad studio and in this today video tutorial i am going to teach you about soft selection in 3ds max so in the last video tutorial i discussed about editable poly so if you have missed that tutorial you can go to my playlist in 3ds max folder and you can watch it then you will be able to understand about this topic so now i am going to discuss about soft selection so i will right click here and first we will convert this to editable poly and now you can see this is the modifier list and these are the selection tools like vertex edge border polygon and element which i have already discussed with you and now today we are going to discuss about soft selection so you are seeing this is uh, disabled now because we have to first select the selection tool so we have not select selected any selection tool so suppose i am going to select vertex here you can see uh, this soft selection is active here so you have to first activate all this and now i am going to click on polygon and then you can see here soft selection is active so today i am going to discuss about this so i am going to check this box use soft selection so uh, i will tell you I am going to check this first and now I am going to select any polygon here suppose I am going to click here so you can see uh, some uh, blue line yellow line and orange line is also activated here and if you uncheck this and then you can see this all soft selection is disappeared here so now I am going to first check this here and you can also check this one edge distance so you can increase or decrease so it is not that much use so you can uncheck this and this is back facing so these are fall off so how much you want to this uh, different line like blue and orange should appear you can just increase or decrease you can see I am going to increase this and you can see this all area are soft selection and you can see uh, after red there are some orange then yellow then green and then blue these are the soft selection area so you have to play with this you can increase or decrease you can see here and this is pinch here so you can see this green area is in, uh, increasing if I am increasing pinch and these are the bubbles so bubbles you can see these are the grayish part near green area so i will tell you what is the meaning of this so now we'll come further down here and now you can see this is the shape which we'll uh, find if you we'll extrude this so you can see this graph will change if i am going to increase or decrease this pinch can see here and see how this is changing here and this bubble also so our this shape of this polygon will be like this if you use soft selection so you have to keep in mind that soft selection is active here so now I'm going to move this polygon now and see what happens and you can clearly see this uh, is same shape like we have drawn in this graph and if you will make any changes here this will also change here and you can I will tell you and you can see this is becoming of similar shape like this one so this is the use of this fall of pinch and bubble so and this uh, curve you can view how your shape should be so this is shaded face toggle so if you will select this it, the color will be changed and it will be according to your soft selection color you can see these are reddish color then orange and then green and then blue so that will appear if you will use this shaded face toggle. 
so if you lock this selection soft selection there will be no changes so suppose i am going to move this so there is no any soft selection and if you unlock this you can see this soft selection area are active here so you can extrude this i will tell you one more time here you can see this is active here so you can see when, when to lock this and when to unlock this so now i am going to paint the area so this is like paint tool paint blur and revert so if you want to use this tool you can paint the area and you can select the brush size so you can see this blue like thing this is brush so you can see this is the brush size you can increase or decrease this so i'm going to increase so you can see this brush size is increased so yeah, i'm going to paint this area and this all will be soft selection and also the brush strength also you can select from here so this is like photoshop and you can also use this reward if you want to erase some area here so that will be erased here with the reward tool here so now I'm going to use move tool here and see what happens. This all area is in soft selection. And now you can use this blur to make this more soft, soft area. If these are all are sharp here, this will make it soft. If you use this blur tool here and then you can further use this and now this is the brush strength so this is the main use of soft selection tool so you should keep practicing this so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in 3ds max so thanks for watching bye bye